All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to daily update, my 1000 day challenge. Today is day 387, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, the balance remains the same for today comparing to yesterday itself. And do note that uh, in terms of market structure updates, today is a uh, Sunday itself. We'll just take a very quick look. In terms of the market structure itself, uh, Bitcoin tentatively looks to be closing on the green candlestick itself, although we can potentially still go and have a very strong break uh rejection of the top in which case if we do close below the 47k mark then we will effectively turn into a red bearish candlestick itself but do bear in mind that as you can see across these past five weeks that even if we do remain green you can see that the volume has been declining and secondly you can see that the price action range as also the volatility has decreased so this goes to show that we are very much nearing towards the top of a short-term kind of a bull market in that perspective or in terms of price action itself that's why i'm saying it but not to say that we cannot go any higher and not to say that we have a strong retracement or pullback what could potentially happen is we could also consolidate near this range between the 40 40k region itself for maybe one or two weeks and then we could have a potential resume back towards the upward trend momentum itself that would be a potentially more sustainable way that we could do it something whereby you see someone like this so it might be climb all the way up we consolidated for one two or even three weeks itself before we continue towards the upside similarly over here we have some sort of exhaustion we consolidated one two three four weeks before we continue towards the upside kind of thing so that could potentially do take place similarly as what we have experienced in the past few months itself all right, if you look in terms of the daily chart itself, we do see a consolidation and indecision pattern take from over here yesterday, which is the red candlestick itself. So even though you break above it, you do see that the volume didn't have a volume spike on the daily chart. So that is the very first sign of a bearish kind of momentum. And in addition to that, on the MACD, you can see also reduced in terms of the momentum wise that is very clearly marked. And zooming down further onto the 4-hour chart, the only good sign was that on the 4-hour chart, there was a strong volume in you know, the round resulting of this break, this 48k region itself. And we seem to have very light volume to retest over here. So yes, on the 4-hour chart, I'm still tentatively looking towards the bullish side of things, which is why I'm still sticking to this trade in terms of price action breakout as well. So in on the other hand, if it does actually, like what I mentioned over here on the daily market update, is that if it actually closes on the 4-hour chart below the 20x potential moving average which is at the top end then yes i'll be very likely to close at least 50 percent of my position and move my stop loss to break even point in which case both will be triggered at the same time both conditions could be triggered at the same time in which case i'll just close both trade either at a minimum break even point or at a little bit of a loss itself so there's something to bear in mind and if we actually do trend towards the upside and see a rejection of this 50.1k region or 51k region itself, then similarly, I'll be very cautious to take at least 10, 20% of the profit away first. And then seeing how strong if we do get rejected there, then we will react accordingly to that. But yeah, if you actually just break through strongly, then obviously I'll not be taking any profit. I'll just be trailing it nicely using the 20 exponential moving average. So yep, with that said, I've come to the end of today on the chart market structure. It still remains the same. As of the forward chart, technically we are looking on the neutral side of things. But I would say that this is a very nice consolidation itself. If we could consolidate, say for another maybe four to... 16 hours so perhaps for today and even maybe until tomorrow itself to let the 20 exponential moving average on the four hour chart to catch up and there'll definitely be a good sign that we could potentially still trend towards the upside of course we could also have a force break towards the downside attempt and then we could also continue towards the upside just as well or if we do have a very strong break downside and stay below the downside for at least four to eight hours then tentatively that could be a reversal in terms of the trend itself in terms of short terms from a bullish trend to a potentially bearish kind of momentum itself so yep with that said i've come to the end of today if you guys have any questions feel free to drop by your comments below otherwise i'll see you guys tomorrow take care bye